Are you tired, studying hard, but still struggling to perform well on your nursing exams? Well, you're not alone. Many nursing students do struggle with test taking, but the good news is there are effective strategies that you can use to improve your test taking skills. So in this video, we're gonna be sharing 11 valuable test taking strategies that are specific for nursing students. From understanding the type of questions to managing your time effectively, these tips and tricks are gonna help boost your confidence and achieve your better results on your nursing exams. So whether you're a brand new nursing student or maybe you're a seasoned pro, these strategies are going to help you excel in your academic career. So don't wait, watch this video now and start applying these proven techniques to your study routine. Your success is just a few clicks away. So in this video, we are going to be discussing 11 test taking tips. So I'm gonna go over each single one of them briefly for you guys. Number one being SATA questions. Many of you guys know this as the select all that applies. When you go through these questions, make sure you're going through those answers and kind of rearranging them, seeing what is true, what is false. So you want to make sure you're just kind of exiting whichever you know that is not right, what is true, what is false, it kind of simplifies those answers for you. So kind of rearranging everything. And then obviously thoroughly reading what the question is asking of you. This is gonna be very, very prominent, especially in this new next gen NCLEX. There's gonna be a lot of these type of questions. So make sure you review these properly. Number two, absolute words. And what I mean by absolute words is those words like always, never, all, every. Words like that, right? Um, usually if you see that, that's a big red flag, right? You don't want to see those kind of words because most likely that is not going to be the answer to that question. The only caveat to that is if it's a safety question. So if they're asking something about safety, they may say you would never do this or you would always do this. That would probably be the only exception, but when it comes to anything else, anytime they use those absolute words with always, never, all, you know, do those are like red flags. So make sure you're looking out for that. Number three, opposites. Okay, this is a very common one in NCLEX questions is opposites. So basically this would be like using hyper, hypo, acute, or chronic, or um, overload versus deficit. If you see opposites, you pretty much know one or the other is going to be correct, right? So either one of those, look out for those kind of selections in your answers. So if you do see opposites, that's going to mean pretty much it's going to be one of those. So look out for that. Number four, same. So if you look through the answers on the questions, if it has answers that have the same kind of content, same kind of context, that usually means that neither one of them are correct if they're pretty much of the same context. So make sure you're looking out for that in your answers when you're going through those questions. Number five, priority. How many of you guys have heard the ABCs, right? Priority, the airway, breathing, circulation. Those are priority things that you want to look out for. Also things to look out for are keywords that mean prioritization. So it can be a priority, it could be emergency, it could be seeing first, it can be patient returning to the floor, it could be an ambulance, anything like that that shows priority is something that you wanna make sure that you're looking out for. And then like I mentioned, remembering your ABCs, the airway, breathing, circulation. So make sure you guys keep that in mind. Number six is our all infamous nursing process. So as you guys know, that is infamous for ADPI, which is your assessment, diagnosis, planning, implementation, and evaluation. So this is gonna be very important on the NCLEX. You wanna make sure you're reviewing over that. Number seven, acute versus chronic. So this is a very, very common one as well. So a Acute versus chronic can also be in looking in the terms of short term versus long term. It can be early signs of something versus late signs of something. So this is something you also want to look for into questions. Okay, so make sure you guys are looking for anything of acute versus a chronic stage of anything. Number eight, 
What exactly is the question? Like, what exactly is it that they want to know? Make sure you're thoroughly reading through that question word for word. Make sure you're reading every little thing, right? So, and also I always tell people when you're going through the answers and you read the question, go with your gut. Don't just, don't overthink the question. Just if you immediately think C, put C, move on. I have done this too myself. I will overthink it. Don't overthink Usually your gut is what you want to go with. So if immediately you're thinking an answer, just put it and move on. Please do not overthink it. Number nine, expected findings versus complications. So this is understanding a disease process. So you want to know in a disease process of whatever the question's asking you, what is a normal finding? What is a finding that you're expected to see in a patient versus what a finding is that is a complication that the patient's having? So obviously when you go through the answers, anything that is to be expected it's not going to be the right answer, right? It's going to be what's the complication. So make sure you're looking through that as well. Number 10, repeating words. So this is kind of like a catch-all at the end if all else, all else fails. But if you notice that there are um, using the same words in the answers and the question like repetitively, usually that's not going to be a correct answer. So those are going to be the ones you just want to look out for as well. And lastly, my number 11, it's my NCLEX question traps. So a couple of these things I just want to highlight a little bit for you. Um, the no assessments. Uh, first doesn't always mean assessment. So I know when we look at the nursing, um, the nursing process, I know that the first thing would be assessment, but that doesn't necessarily mean when they say first means assessment. So I want you guys to keep that in mind, as well as action does not necessarily mean implementation. So I want you guys to keep that in mind as well. So those are my 11 test taking tips. You guys can always comment, let me know your thoughts, how much you guys like this video. You can always subscribe, like, comment, let us know your feelings. But thank you so much for watching. Until next time, happy nursing.